KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, are a way to define and measure performance across an organization. They are almost always a vital piece in the successful BI deployment. Tableau supports many different kinds of KPIs, from simple pass-fail to more complex quantitative and directional KPIs. The visualization that you see in front of you was created by a consumer packaged goods company that wants to ensure that its retailers have enough products on its shelves to satisfy their customers. This simple pass-fail KPI allows the company to judge whether their out-of-stock numbers, as an example, are dangerously low, acceptable, or good. The simplicity of this pass-fail KPI takes a complex report and turns it into an easy-to-digest performance measurement system. Consumers can even switch periods to view the performance over time. Let's take a look at some more complex KPIs. This visualization was created by a doctor's office that is just implemented a program in an attempt to reduce wait times. Reducing wait times allows the doctor's office to schedule more patients through the office and also reduce patient frustration. The visualization at the top of this dashboard shows every single patient in the distribution. Each of the steps in this process represents an interaction that they have with the doctor's office. So they go from waiting at check-in all the way to checking out. The red dot represents the average of all the patients in the distribution. The goal of the doctor's office is to keep the red dot beneath the red line at 61 minutes. This wait time goal, or the red line that you're seeing here, can be changed by moving the slider on the right hand side. So if process times improve throughout the year, the doctor's office can lower their goal accordingly. The visualization at the bottom shows the average wait over time at different steps in the doctor-patient interaction. So, I can switch from the wait and waiting room to wait at check-in by using the filter at the right hand side. This visualization combines elements from pass-fail, quantitative, and directional KPIs. Quantitatively, we can see that the wait in the waiting room has decreased from 16 minutes in week 2 to about 11 minutes in week 11. Directionally, we can follow the line and see that the wait time is trending down. The pass-fail portion of this KPI is the most complex piece. The color of the dot indicates whether the current week's average wait time is lower than the average of a set number of previous weeks. The moving average can be set in the bottom right-hand corner. In this case, it is only one, meaning that if a current week is lower than the previous week, it's colored green. If I change the moving average to two weeks, for instance, we can see that there are only two weeks in which the average of that week was greater than the previous two weeks. Clearly, this doctor's office is doing a good job of decreasing their patient wait times. The ability to place multiple types of KPIs on a single dashboard or even on a single view allows the flexibility and ease of reporting that would benefit almost any BI deployment.